Welcome back to Blitz. I'm Brian Carter. Joining me now on the show from Habersham Central for the Lady Raiders softball team, we have junior Jordan Ellingson, the star pitcher for the Lady Raiders, and Lydia Guerin, the senior, one of the senior leaders on the team. So girls, first start out just by talking a little about how long you've been playing softball and what it means to you. Um, I've been playing softball since T-ball, so since I was about five, and um, I started pitching when I was eight. I started going to pitching lessons, and softball is my life. I do it every single day. I do it after school. I go to lessons every single day and tournaments every weekend. I also have been playing since I was four, and it is also my entire life. It's all I do. Um, I started pitching when I was eight, and it's basically my life. I play every weekend, so... Same thing. Now, very interesting, going into this season, there have been a couple of changes going on in, in uh, high school softball across the state. Obviously, the most uh, particular one we're talking about here is 40, from 40 feet used to be the distance from the pitcher circle to home plate. Now it's 43. So it, it sort of gives just a little bit more of an edge, I guess, to the hitter. But from a, a pitcher's perspective, Jordan, talk about uh, how you aim to overcome that this year and how you think it might affect your game. It's, um, it's not really that different. You have... Three feet. I mean, you pitch in practice from farther anyways. And so when you get on the mound, I guess it's a little bit different. You have to make the balls break later, and you have to make your spins win, like, versus 40 feet. And so and I guess it can take off some miles per hour, but it doesn't really affect me that much. So you feel it might give you a little more advantage on, on your breaking pitches then? Yes. Okay, now, Lydia, you talk from a hitter's perspective. I know you both have to hit, but you have to hit – uh, quite a bit. So uh, looking at it from your perspective, do you feel like you have a little bit more of an edge now that you have just that three extra feet? Yeah, we have a huge advantage. You know, the ball may be slower. They may have a hard time breaking it, breaking the pitches later, and they'll leave them fat a lot. And it just makes sense to move it because, you know, that's what we got to do in college. So it doesn't make sense to play that in high school. So it's a good change, I think. So you think it's good preparing yourself yes, for the next level if you plan definitely. to do that? Okay, girls, now talk a little about last season. You ended up eight straight wins to end the season going into the region tournament. You won the first two there and then finally dropped the last two, but a very strong finish for you. How do, how do you, uh, what are your feelings toward that uh, kind of bittersweet, I guess, because you ended really strong and then uh, lost the last two and barely missed out on state? Well, it was heartbreaking, of course, losing, but we've went further than any team at Habersham Central. So, you know, that was really rewarding, but it was heartbreaking to lose those last games, especially for our seniors. We didn't get to take it further for them. But... And those two games, I think we lost them because we were just tired. We had played a lot, and we played two games before that, too, and, like, before in that week. And it was just hard for everybody, for me as a pitcher and for them, too. It was just for defense, everything. Now, Jordan, you're, you're starting your junior season here, so mm -hmm. you still have a year after this. But uh, what do you hope to improve on uh, individually going into, you know, working on this year to take into your senior season? Um... I want to make my balls break more, get faster. I want to gain at least three miles an hour on my pitching. Um, and I just want to be better to better my team and myself, everything else. Now, Lydia, what about you? This is your senior season, so obviously you have something to prove this year. Uh, talk about what you want to basically leave behind for your teammates for next year, what you want them to remember about you. I think I want to leave my work ethic behind more than anything. It's just like... I want to show them that I worked hard, and to get where I am, you have to work hard, and you can't slack off. I just want them to know that, you know, they always have to work hard. Nothing comes easy for them. Now, at this time, do you plan to pursue softball after high school? Yes, I do. Do you have any ideas where you're going to go um, yet? Probably very college, hopefully. Okay. Cross yeah. my fingers. <laughs> All right, now last thing I was going to ask you girls, Lydia, um, just talk about what your team goals are this year, uh, and then also your personal goals. Our team goal is definitely to go further this year. As my senior year, I want to go further than we did last year, you know, win the extra games, you know, go to state. And then individually, I just want, you know, to be able to move to the next level, you know, get my statistics up so that I can, you know, better myself as a college player. Jordan, what about you? Um, our team goal, of course, everybody wants to go to state and everybody wants to win state, but everybody can't. But if we go to state, that'll be phenomenal. If we win state, that'll be even more good. And it's just and to better myself, I just want to work on my team more. And, like, after practice, maybe we can, like, have a talk. Like, when I'm pitching on the mound or even before games, I'm going to tell them that I'm going to work hard for them. Like, like I want them – I want to work hard for them. They work hard for me. I want us to mesh better when they're playing. 
Okay, well, girls first. Last last thing I was going to ask. What what class did I get you out of today? Um, you got me out of business. Okay. Lydia? Weight training. Uh, well, you're not missing much then. <laughs> not really okay. at all. Well, thank you both for taking some time out of class. I know I, I know you hate doing that and getting out here and, and being on the show. We really appreciate it, and good luck to you throughout the season. Thank you. Thank you. Now, coming up right after the break, we're going to have some awesome football highlights that you don't want to miss, so stick around.